Hey guys, um, today I'm going to draw a quick Calabi Yao manifold from Super String Theory. It's a six dimensional object that's supposed to describe the fundamental structure of the Planck scale in quantum gravity according to Super String Theory. I'll show a simulation here, or an animation, not a simulation. But my next video will be digitizing the Calabi Yao and expanding upon the mathematics of the Calabi Yao manifold. So thank you for coming to my channel. This is a little bit of physics art today in today's video. So if you uh, if you're just now coming, uh, give give me a like and subscribe if you want to. So thank you for coming, guys. I appreciate the support and everything. And I'm just gonna keep making all kinds of art concept videos here here to come 2022 thank you for coming string theory is giving us a whole new perspective on space every grain of sand are billions of tiny atoms every atom is made of smaller bits of matter electrons orbiting a nucleus made of protons and neutrons which are made of even smaller bits of matter called quarks. But string theory says this is not the end of the line. It makes the astounding claim that the particles making up everything in the universe are made of even smaller ingredients, tiny wiggling strands of energy that look like strings. Strings calm the chaos, resolves the conflict between our jittery, unpredictable picture of space on the subatomic scale and our smooth picture of space on the large scale. And it's the jitteriness of quantum theory versus the gentleness of Einstein's general theory of relativity. It spreads them out by virtue of taking the old idea of a point particle and spreading it out into a string. So the jittery behavior is there, but it's just sufficiently less violent that quantum theory and general relativity stitch together perfectly within this framework. Calabi Yau spaces are six dimensional spaces hypothesized as arising when the ten dimensions of superstring theory are compactified down to four dimensions. So, what would these extra dimensions look like? Kaluza and Klein proposed that if we could shrink down billions of times, we'd find one extra tiny curled up dimension located at every point in space. Mathematics of string theory demand not one, but six extra dimensions, twisted and curled into complex little shapes that might look something like this. And we think the curled up spatial dimensions in string theory work in a similar way. If we could shrink down small enough to fly into one of these tiny six dimensional shapes predicted by string theory, we would see how the extra dimensions are twisted and curled back on each other, influencing how strings, the fundamental ingredients of our universe, move and vibrate and this could be the key to solving one of nature's most profound mysteries. So basically, at every point in three or four dimensional space, just tack on six extra dimensions. 